yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. And by his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. And as we light the Paschal candle now, may the light of Christ raise thee in glory to spell the darkness of our hearts and minds.
exult, let them exult, the hosts of heaven. Exult, let angel ministers of God exult. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad, as glory floods her, ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led our forebears Israel's children from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry shod through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer. O oh, truly blessed night, worthy alone to know the time and hour when Christ rose from the underworld. This is the night of which it is written, the night shall be as bright as day. Dazzling is the night for me and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this, your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening 
evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor. A fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees, to build a torch so precious. Oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you, that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And if we extinguish our candles now. My brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people, and in these days, the last days, has sent us his son as our redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. And so we pray, and please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heaven and the earth, God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
Come benefit all your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. And be at your spirit to sing. Retira el aliento y expiran y vuelven a ser polvo. Envías tu aliento, los creas y repueblas la faz de la tierra. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And please be seated. Del libro del Éxodo. En aquellos días dijo el Señor a Moisés, ¿Por qué, si, ¿por qué siguen el armado a mí? Diles a los israelitas que se pongan en marcha. Y tú alza tu bastón, extiende tu mano sobre el mar y divídelo, para que los israelitas entren en el mar sin mojarse. Yo voy a enderecer el corazón de los egipcios para que los persigan y me cubriré de gloria al estanzar del faraón y de todo su ejército, de sus carros y jinetes. Cuando me haya cubierto de gloria a, a expensar del faraón, de sus carros y jinetes, los egipcios sabrán que yo soy el Señor. El ángel del Señor que iba frente a los austes de Israel se, le, se colocó tras ellas y la columna de nubes que iba adelante. También desplazó y se puso a sus espaldas entre el campamento de los israelitas y el campamento de los egipcios. La nube era tinieblas para unos, claridad para otros. Y así los ejércitos no trabajaban no trabajarán cantos durante toda la noche. Moisés extendió la mano sobre el mar y el Señor hizo su plazo durante toda la noche, un fuerte viento del este, que secó el mar y dividió las aguas. Los israelitas entraron en el mar y no se mojaban, mientras las aguas formaban una muralla a su derecha y a su izquierda. Los egipcios se lanzaron en sus persecuciones y todo caballera del faraón. Sus carros y jinetes entraron tras ellos al mar. Hacia el amanecer, el Señor miró desde la columna de fuego y humo el ejército de los egipcios y sembró entre ellos el pánico. Trabajó las ruedas de sus carros 
de suerte que no avanzaban sino pesadamente. Dijeron entonces los egipcios, hallamos a Israel porque el Señor lucha en su, en su favor contra Egipto. Entonces el Señor dijo a Moisés, extiende tu mano sobre el mar para que vuelvan las aguas sobre los egipcios. Sus carros y jinetes y extendiendo Moisés su mano sobre el mar y al amanecer. Las aguas volvieron a su sitio de suerte. Al oír los egipcios se encontraron con ellas. Y el Señor lo redivó, lo redivó en medio del mar. Volviendo las aguas y cubrieron los carros a los jinetes y a todo el ejército del faraón que se había metido en el mar para perseguir a Israel. Ni uno ni solo se salvó. Pero los hijos de Israel caminaban por lo seco en medio del mar. Las aguas las hacían murallas a la derecha y a la izquierda. Aquel día salvó el Señor a Israel a las manos de Egipto. Israel vio a los egipcios muertos en la orilla del mar. Israel vio la mano fuerte del Señor sobre los egipcios y el pueblo tembló el Señor y creyó el Señor y en Moisés. Su siervo, entonces Moisés y los hijos de Israel cantaron este cántico al Señor. Palabra de Dios. Cantemos al Señor, sublime su victoria, let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Cantemos al Señor, sublime su victoria, let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Cantemos al Señor, sublime su victoria, carroza y caballo arrojado al mar. Él es nuestra fuerza y poder, el salcemos al Dios de nuestros padres. Cantemos al Señor. pray. O God, whose ancient one has remained undimmed in splendor, even in our day, 
But what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth, grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel lived in their land, they defiled it by their conduct and deeds. Therefore I poured out my fury upon them because of the blood they poured out on the ground, and because they defiled it with idols. I scattered them among the nations, dispersing them over foreign lands. According to their conduct and deeds, I judged them. But when they came among the nations, wherever they came, they served to profane my holy name, because it was said of them, these are the people of the Lord, yet they had to leave their land. So I have relented because of my holy name, which the house of Israel profaned among the nations where they came. Therefore say to the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, not for your sakes do I act house of Israel, but for the sake of my holy name, which you profaned among the nations to which you came. I will prove the holiness of my great name profaned among the nations in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nation shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Como busca la sierva corrientes de agua, my soul longs for you, for you, my God. Como busca la sierva corrientes de agua, my soul. del Dios vivo cuando entraré a ver el rostro de Dios como busca la sierva Rejoicing and cries of thanksgiving. 
sierva corriente se agua, my soul longs for you, for you, my God. Envía tu luz y verdad que has me tu monte tu morada como busca la sierra corrientes de agua I so long for you for you my God then will I go to the altar of God the God of my gladness and joy. Playing on the harp, I will thank you with singing. I thank you, O Lord, my God. Como busa la sierva Let us pray. O God of unchanging power and eternal light, look with favor on the wondrous mysteries of the whole church and serenely accomplish the work of human salvation, which you planned from all eternity. May the whole world know and see that what was cast down is raised up, what had become old is made new, and all things are restored to integrity through Christ, just as by him they came into being, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Let us pray. 
O God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If, then, we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to your Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. 
On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Isn't it good to hear the Alleluia song sung so well? The Alleluia that reminds us of the joy of this day, the joy that comes from the resurrection of the Christ. And it's so wonderful to see so many people here to celebrate this, the great vigil of Easter, when we see the light of Christ illumine our church, illumine our hearts, illumine each and every one of us so that we together may give glory to God. I'd just like to speak very briefly and about two ideas before we go through the following ceremonies. First of all, I'd like to welcome the six individuals who will be being baptized tonight and the 28 individuals who will be receiving the Sacrament of Confirmation and the eight persons that will be receiving First Holy Communion. We welcome you, the parish welcomes you, and we pray that this day will be the beginning of many, many happy days in your Catholic faith, so welcome. But the words I wish to speak to everyone about are just two words. The first word is empty. And when you think of an empty suit, an empty mind, an empty plate, it has a negative concept about it, doesn't it? Empty, there's something lacking. But when we say the empty tomb, it has a whole different meaning. The empty tomb reminds us of hope reminds us of our salvation and our redemption. The empty tomb tells us always to keep our eyes focused on our beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. So empty, yes, the empty tomb. And the second word I wish to speak about is a word that we see at the end of the movie, the greatest story ever told. This is a story about the life of Jesus. And at the very end of it, when they give the names of everybody that was in the movie and the role they were playing. As they go through that, at the very final conclusion, instead of where you would expect to see the word the end, the word they put there is the beginning. Yes, the beginning. And how insightful that was for that director. For at the end of the greatest story ever told, at the end of the life of Jesus, at the time of his resurrection, is the beginning, the beginning of his church, the beginning of his faith, the beginning of his love spreading throughout the world. So we pray today that this new beginning that we celebrate this Easter Saturday will always remind us to make new our lives, to make new our heart, to allow Jesus to enter into us, to always renew us and refresh us, to always enable us to see his loving presence in the world. So now we're going to have the sacrament of baptism for six individuals who will be joining the elect, the catechumen, and then after that we'll have our own renewal of baptismal promises, and then we'll have the sacrament of confirmation for the 28 others. So at this time, the deacon will call out the names, we'll have the a prayer of the saints as we process over to the baptismal fountain. As your name is called, please stand in place. Darla Aguirre, John DeVito, Allison Draper, Sanare Palencia, Derek Torres Reyes, and Sean Santiago. Thank you, Don.
Dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of these, our brothers and sisters, in their blessed hope, so that as they approach the fountain of rebirth, the Almighty Father may bestow on them all his merciful help. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, pray for us. San Miguel, pray for us. Santo de Angles de Dios, pray for us. San Juan Bautista, pray. be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create these new people brought to birth for you in the font of baptism so that is what is carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power through Christ our Lord Amen. and now we'll bless the water O God who by invisible power accomplishes a wondrous effect through sacramental signs and who in many ways has prepared water in your creation to show forth the grace of baptism O oh God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come to an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O oh God, whose only Son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung on the cross, gave forth water from his side, along with blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. And may the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come through your Son into the fullness of this font so that all who have been buried with Christ in baptism into his death may rise again to him with life, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Springs of water, bless the Lord, give him glory. Address the elect. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? And you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. This is our faith of the first faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Dollar, Dollar, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Allison, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Devin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. John, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You have become a new creation and clothe yourself in Christ Jesus, seeing the white garments you are wearing, the outward sign of your Christian dignity, and with your family and friends to help you bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Now we light the, from the Easter candle, the baptismal candles of the candidates. And as the Godfathers give the candidates to be baptized, their candles, we say, receive the light of Christ. You also serve us are now going to go through the church to light your candles for the renewal of the baptismal promises.
please stand? My brothers and sisters, through the Easter mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in his holy Catholic Church. So I ask everyone, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of sins, keep us in his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Monsignor, we now welcome our candidates for confirmation, and we ask them to please come forward with your sponsor when your name is called and join our newly baptized. Nicholas Canales, Angela Casagrande, Elizabeth Gomez Medina, Alberto Gonzalez, George Luca Kingira, Sebastian Magnana, Kaylee Mejia, Dylan Minchez, Margalit Patino Contreras, Leslie Polo, Carlos Ramirez, Veronica Ruiz, Jason Sanchez, James Sanchez, Michael Tovar, Anahi Valencia, Brianna Vasquez, and Jocelyn Vega. My dear candidates for confirmation, by your baptism you have been born again in Christ, and you become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost, and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. And I ask all here, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these candidates for confirmation to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God.
my brother priest to extend their hands. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon these people to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the faith we share, flowing from truth, bring us a knowledge that brings us to you through the darkness of despair and of fear. Give us the to know May you, my hand. Father, be sealed Holy with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, May peace be with you. Holy Spirit, come now. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Come And may peace be with you. Come now. Catherine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Santo Spirito, ven. with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Leslie, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Carmen, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Isaac, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Holy Spirit, come. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. George, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, and may peace be with you. Thomas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and may peace be with you. Abigail, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and may peace be with you. Cecilia, 
be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Holy Spirit of God. Raphael the Archangel, be sealed Holy with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And may peace be with you. Welcome you. Congratulations on receiving the sacrament of confirmation. Welcome to our church. <laughs> you go back to your seats and you can blow, everybody can blow out their candles and be seated. And please stand now for the prayer of the faithful. Gathered here in faith, hope, and love, let us open these prayers to God, our Father. For the church, may God's great love draw many souls to his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the iglesia, que el gran amor de Dios atraiga muchas almas a su Hijo Jesucristo, roguemos al Señor. For those who were received into the church this night, may the promise and grace of the sacraments of initiation fill their hearts with faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por los que fueron recibidos en la iglesia esta noche, que la promesa y la gracia de los sacramentos de iniciación llenen sus corazones de fe, esperanza, y amor, roguemos al Señor. For our faith community, as we celebrate Christ's resurrection, may he lead us to new life as disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Por nuestra comunidad de fe, mientras celebramos la resurrección de Cristo, que nos lleve a una nueva vida como discípulos, roguemos al Señor. For all in need, the sick, the lonely, the unemployed, the refugee, may they find solace and consolation in the promise of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in need of the sick, I'm sorry. For all who have died in faith, may God welcome them with joy into his heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all power in heaven and on earth is yours. Please hear and answer our prayers this day in your wisdom. And we ask this through your Son, the risen Jesus, who lives and reigns with you, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The second collection is the Easter collection. As always, we are grateful for your generosity. We ask our newly baptized to please bring up the gifts, our newly baptized.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice be acceptable to God our Father in heaven. Lord, accept the sacrifice of Jesus. Except we ask, O oh Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O oh Lord, but on this night, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the times betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Frank Sapp, Pope Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Well, through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave and my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, and may the Lord's peace be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let's help each other as I am Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I say the word. My soul. And may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for life eternal. Ask those who are going to receive First Holy Communion to come forward at this time.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of our love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. This time I'd just like to express my gratitude for those who mentored all these wonderful people who entered our church. So Deacon Don and all their mentors, we thank you very, very much for all that you did to enable these people to join in full communion with our Catholic Church. I'd also like to thank our choir. Weren't they wonderful? Thank you. <laughs> Throughout the three days, from Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and today and tomorrow, they have provided such wonderful music to enhance the liturgy, enhance the celebration. We thank you very much, Heather, Romer, and all the members of the choir. Our altar service, stand up. Aren't they great? And I'd like to thank Father Patrick and Father Francis and Father Duff for working with them so well to train them so excellently for the celebration of this Paschal mystery. So we thank you. We, I like also, you notice the altar had been decorated. Uh, Ladies Guild decorated all this afternoon. We thank them for doing that. And we pray in gratitude for all that they do each and every day for the church. So for the priests of the parish, for the deacons, from all the members of our staff, we wish you all a very blessed, blessed Easter. God bless you, and may the Lamb upon his throne bring you the gift of peace, peace that we truly need at this moment in our lives. So please stand for the final blessings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And let us pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. 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 And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. 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 And now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. 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 And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. And have a blessed Easter. God bless everyone. We are sent forth singing, El Señor Resucitó, Jesus Christ is risen today. Verse 1 in Espanol, verse 1 in English.
Thank you. Happy Easter. How are you? Oh, good. How are you doing? Oh, you look good. Good to see you here. Yeah. I hear you on car. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, wonderful. Good day. Good. Happy Easter. Good. good. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. 